Hello everyone and welcome back to Roots of Pacha. My name is Melanie B. It is now Friday the 12th of summer in year number one. Okay, let's get started. We should say hello to our little mammoth friend. There we go. <laughs> now we got some stuff to put away. Let's head outside. certainly have a lot of shells okay and this is probably the feather meal from last time but let's put all these shells where they belong the stone could go in here too and in here this can go here and our newest acquisition some coconuts we'll get that in this chest and I'm just going to hang on to this baba ganoush because that's what we're going to be eating today at some point. Okay, let's get these crops all watered. Once I make some of the powdered meal, I'm going to use it on these crops because Watering takes a lot of time and it uses up a lot of stamina as well. Oh, got some millet to harvest here. I might have some more millet I can plant as well. So for today, I was thinking I want to figure out the cave system. And last time we were up at the caves in the forest, we kind of got to the point where we we're needing to get something for the horse totem. But I'm thinking there must be another path to get through. Because from what I can tell, the cave systems are all connected. So I think the beach and the cave and the savanna are all connected to each other. So, oh, got plat knowledge tree for our sea cow. Nice. So, yeah, I want to go back up and see what we can figure out in regards to the cave. And this time we've got Baba Ganoush with us, which is going to provide us a whole bunch of extra stamina. So, we'll be able to explore more. Let's grab some of that amaranth. I should probably buy some more uh, seeds from Igrog, but as it stands, I already have way too much crops to water, so maybe that's not such a good idea. Okay, let's see what we can plant over here. Um, we can do kale. Oh, let's do some more sunflowers. And I've got a couple of spots open here. Let's get some amaranth in there. Oh, what is this? Oh, chilies. Ooh, I don't even know. Let's go with the amaranth. Okay, I think that was all the open spots we got. Let's get back to the watering though. Because we've got a whole nether plot all the way down here. <laughs> We've got too many fields. Okay, let's get watering these. Oh yeah, and I added another row last time too. So even more. Now for some reason, sometimes when I'm watering, there's a double splash. I wonder how I can make that happen all the time. That would be pretty useful. I'm so glad I built this extra well down here so I don't have to run all the way up to get water refills. But we still got a few more to go. And I think one more pail of water should do it. Yep. 
Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's already after 12, and we're just now finishing the watering. Ah, too many seeds. Way too many seeds. Let's get some of this stuff put away. Let's check in with our animal friends, though. Oh, you need to be milked. Let's do that right now. Hey, 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 don't go away. I'm here to milk you. And we'll check in the sh shed and see if there's any eggs in there. Okay, we'll take that. And the feather meal as well. Oh, it made eight. Nice. Okay, let's put that away in here. And I think that's all that's going in that one. We certainly have a lot of crops. I'm going to sell some of these uh, sea kale. Because we don't need multiple of the same thing. There we go. And we'll leave the eggs in here and the milk as well. Okay, do we need anything else out of here? I don't think so. Oh, I wanted to put... What was it that I needed to put in here again? For the powder meal. So for powder meal, bones or shells. So let's grab a couple of shells. And we'll get these placed in there. And we should get some powder meal from that. Now let's head up to... I want to head up to the caves, but first we'll have to make a contribution. So we'll put the sea kale in there and the flower. Okay, let's go, my wild boar friend. Oh, look, Zelk has a little shop set up. I don't remember when I started traveling. It feels like I always have. Let's see what he has for today. Maybe it's the same thing. Myco, wild buckwheat, obsidian, mint, wild citron juice, wild alma juice. I don't even know what those things are. And butternut squash sheets. Okay. Maybe we'll check back tomorrow and see. Oh, I didn't see what other task we had. Oh, Enzo finished working on an idea. She has a new tool. Ooh, the fishing tool, a spear. And obsidian hoe is finished. What? And we still have to develop an idea. Oh no. I really want to get up to the mines or to the caves. <laughs> we can check in with those things tomorrow. I don't even have time to stop and do any foraging out here. Because I want to get as far as possible down into the caves. And the only way to do that is to go early. And we didn't get to go early. Okay, up the mountains we shall continue. Oh, I can't even get that squash. I have to pretend like I didn't see that squash just now. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, there's some dates on that tree. Can't get it though. Maybe on our way back. Okay, let's look at the map here. So we got to this horse totem here and we're stuck right here because we can't figure out what to offer the horse totem i think he needs to get apples maybe he said something sweet but there is a path right here that we didn't get explore yet i thought i went back to explore it but i think i'll have another look and see so let's go to no man's rock instead maybe i was just 
not paying enough attention. Yeah, this is where I got to last time. And I assumed I was supposed to go up. Let's try going in this direction and see what we find. Doesn't seem like we can go up any further. And this is where we've already been, right? Let's try going over on this other side. Maybe let's look at the map again. <laughs> okay. So we need to go across to the left and then up. Okay. To the left. And then we go through here. And then we go upwards. That way is blocked. Oh, there's a path over here. Look at all these rocks to break. Okay, yes. This is where we got to before, and I went straight upwards. And there was nothing beyond there. <gasps> oh my gosh, how did I miss this before? Okay, this is a new area for sure. Let's get out our rock breaker let's get all the obsidian first how did I totally miss this whole section <laughs> okay well now we're exploring a new area of the map at least let's continue upwards <gasps> Look at this, and it's all green and algae filled. Let's grab all of this obsidian. Oh, we're out of energy, but that's okay. We got Baba Ganoush. Hopefully I can make some more Baba Ganoush, because this is really helpful. I'm not sure what endurance does, but... I'm sure it's a good thing. What's up here? Let's go around this way. Oh, what's that? Jasper, that's new. Oh, and we unlocked a different area now. Okay, nice. Let's continue up this way. And down here. Okay, so now we still have to go upwards, okay? And we're getting all this obsidian, which is very nice. Uh, let's grab this. 7 p It's almost 8 p.m. already. Oh, look at this place. Oh, there's a different type of ore back here. Two different types of ores. Oh, okay, that's okay. We got some more Baba Ganoush. Let's have some of that. Barrel? Okay, we'll take that. Whatever it is. Okay, oh, we got a path open up on this side. On the right side? I thought maybe there was something up above. Oh, look, there's a little monkey thingy. Is there a monkey totem right around here? Oh, got some agate. Okay, there's another place to open. How do we unlock this area? There we go. Okay, let's look at the map. <gasps> There's a path to the beach. I knew it. I knew they were connected. Let's go down and see the path to the beach instead. Look at the time. We don't have much time. Let's uh, change out our tool. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay, uh, we don't need to go out this way. I guess it's an easier way to get home though. I'm gonna go here and see if there's a monkey totem that we need to make an offering to. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can get past here. Here I thought I was gonna have so much energy. <laughs> and it looks like we're out. Okay. Well, we have to break some more rocks, I guess. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Ah, oh, we did unlock it. Uh, let's just go see what's up there. It's already 11.30. Oh no, I don't have anything to eat. So I can't get past this point. <laughs> so close. Okay, well, we'll have to come back tomorrow. Put some more baba ganoush this time. Okay, let's figure this out here. <laughs> so... We'll have to go back down this way. Let's take this shortcut through the beach. We'll have to summon our mount all the way back here now. Thankfully, he, he's a very smart creature. So if there's a path to the beach, there must mean there is also a path to get to the Shaban as well. So, we'll have to explore that, but it's already 12.45 a.m., so we really need to get back. Uh, we'll grab that forage. Yeah, this might be slightly short of a path. Now, we just need to find my house. Where is it? Must be around here someplace. There it is. Okay, thanks for the ride, my wild boar friend. Let's get inside and into bed. Just in time. Okay, so clan contributions for today is 1626. The clan prosperity is now up to 61,000. Amazing. And our contribution for today is 164. Not bad. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.